Yeah, Sultan. Uh, last speaker of the session is Dr. Khalid Bashir, uh, who will be, I think, online. We have been seeing his photo all the time up there. So his topic, again, food security, SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, Policy Myers Adopted, in South Asian countries. Can we have... Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Khalid, yes. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Uh, can you hear me, sir? Sure, Dr. Sir. Go yeah, ahead. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, I'm really thankful to the uh, organizers. Uh, to accommodate me uh, uh, in a very short time because I had some uh, unavoidable circumstances. That is why I could not travel to Multan. So I was uh, asked to do some uh, a review sort of uh, presentation on South Asian context with the special reference to SDGs. So we all know that uh, uh, almost uh, 13 of the SDGs, uh, uh, they are directly or indirectly linked with food or food security. So I will talk about food security in South Asia, academic and policy gaps. So South Asia constitutes almost one third of the world's population of which a large proportion is estimated to be poor and malnourished. Uh, food insecurity and undernourishment is constantly high in this region despite food insecurity decreasing at a global scale. So every third South Asian is estimated to be malnourished 35% of the children under five years, almost 61 million are suffering from uh, stuntedness and the highest number of stunted children in the world. High population growth rates contribute to an increasing number of malnourished people in this region. Achieving food security is thus an issue of great importance of South Asia. Uh, we have already seen uh, so many uh, uh, statistics about Pakistan, so I will skip uh, uh, the Pakistan sort of uh, statistics. I will just talk about the agriculture sector alone may not be able to achieve food security outcomes unless a multi-sectoral approach is implemented to tackle hunger and malnutrition. The concept of food alone has been proven to be insufficient for ensuring food security and therefore this concept should be widened. So uh, a study which was conducted in 2013 uh, based on um, uh, South Asian and uh, African context uh, by myself uh, uh, and co-authoring author was Dr. Steven Sklitzi. According to that study, uh, uh, these were the major uh, factors this, uh, of uh, major components of food security that is availability, accessibility, utilization, which we have already seen in previous presentations. And food availability is basically all about food production, market for purchases, food accessibility is about income, income distribution within the households and price, price mechanisms. On the other hand side, the food utilization uh, is, uh, there are dietary intakes and dietary safety programs. So out of these uh, three main uh, components of food security, food utilization was the least studied uh, uh, component uh, in Asian and African context in up till 2013. And in our most recent study, which was published in Global Food Security, the situation has not yet changed. So this is, uh, these are the basically, uh, uh, these three components, these are sub indicators, uh, NL means at national level, household mean uh, at household level, HH mean at household level, uh, and IL means individual level. So these three colors are indicating that all these sub indicators, green means uh, uh, sufficient work has been done on these uh, aspects. And lighter green means that there are uh, some gaps and red means that there, there are all gaps. Majority is the gap. So the researchers have to look uh, on these dimensions. So uh, you can see the demand and safety supply food. So these are sub indicators I will just go through because I have been asked to complete it in seven to eight minutes. So the next one is food accessibility. There are sub indicators and you can see that majority at individual level are in red and there are some at household level and some in 
uh, are read in many other uh, accessibility. Uh, one basically caste and religion that is read at national household and in individual level, all in uh, sub subcontinent, specifically India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. And this is the situation in food utilization and the micro and micro macronutrients, they are all, you know, red. So per capita calorie intake, that is the basic uh, indicator, which has been studied uh, over and uh, quite uh, rigorously in the literature, you will see that micro and macronutrients role is not that much studied. Similarly, some uh, red points are in individual levels and national level in child, women, and anthropology and anthropometry, specifically in Pakistan, then national level as well. Uh, the food stability, you can see almost all the indicators are red in household uh, and individual level, both in Pakistan, Sri Lanka, uh, sorry, India, and uh, South, uh, Bangladesh. So there are some measurement and uh, definitional issues. So there are six com uh, methods which are uh, most commonly being used. One is dietary intake assessment method. The other one is food insecurity experience-based measurement scales. The other one, third one is household experience uh, expenditure survey methods and anthropometry. And the fifth one is rapid rural appraisals. So all these, uh, and the sixth one is basically the FAO method. All these uh, methods use different definitions of food security. And if you alter a definition, the results of your study will be changed altogether. So this was uh, a part of one of my papers, which was published in uh, CAB reviews. Basically, it was um, sort of, you can say, uh, review as well as uh, the research paper in which uh, uh, we used uh, primary data and we calculated food security using dietary intake assessment method and food insecurity experience based measurement scales. And we used two different definitions for both the uh, methods and the results were quite different. So the paper is available, you can read that paper. Uh, the other issue is data issue, whether the data should be looked aggregated or disaggregated. So one of my papers, which was awarded as best research paper uh, by the HEC in 2014, according to that model, uh, we suggested that uh, data set should be disaggregated at different levels. The second level is disaggregation horizontally or vertically, or third level is uh, both horizontally and uh, vertically. So basically at third level, uh, it will give us more insights uh, for policy guidelines. Uh, the results will give us more policy guidelines as compared to first level data set. So another paper which was published in GeoForum recently. So we have suggested some of these pathways uh, improve the pathway from uh, that is agriculture to food insecurity. How from agriculture to food insecurity, the things are moving. So uh, the second last uh, slide is basically about academic way forward that is sustainable food security can only be achieved by studying all the dimensions at all levels, not in a single study though. The usefulness of food security studies for situational analysis is directly dependent on the definitions used. That is what dimensions and the analysis are being done. The reliability of food security evidence can be increased by using dynamic or more robust methods to measure how food security changes over time. So what is needed that is more comprehensive, disaggregated and targeted research we require to guide the policymakers towards national food security policy. Now, what are the uh, policy way forwards? The sustainable food security policy making needs to be based on better national household and individual food security matrices. So from where these matrices will come, these matrices will come from the universities, from the researchers, from the research institutes. Present food security challenges demand an integrated approach to bridge the gap between domains and scale of analysis. In addition to national level food security research, policymakers need to pay equal attention to disaggregated and targeted approach. It is important that the findings of research be used as the baseline of the policy process, which unfortunately in Pakistan is not the case. So a commissioned research sort of uh, thing is suggested for uh, 
for this last point. And this was my last slide. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Khalid Bashir. Uh, I Thank you, sir. Let me now briefly touch uh, all the five presentations and then we can open it for questions. Tell you the truth, I had a total different expectation from uh, these five presentations. The theme is different. And I expected that they'll be discussing uh, new techniques. If I can read the theme, uh, 